What's up guys, Matthew Monis here and welcome to episode number six of What's In Your Bag. Now I wanna apologize, I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time. And the reason is because I haven't been getting that many views on this series. But it seems to me that a lot of you actually really enjoy it because recently in the comments section on some of my videos, some of you are saying, Matt, where's the What's In Your Bag series? I really enjoyed it. When is the next one coming out? So here's the deal. As long as you guys enjoy it, or at least some of you enjoy it, and I get enough submissions, I will continue doing the series. So with that being said, in our last episode, we had Sean versus Chang, and Sean won with 72% of the votes. So Sean, congratulations, you're being entered to win a $100 gift card from Amazon. So today we have two new contestants. We have Christina all the way from Barcelona, Spain, and we have T from Ohio, USA. So let's start off with Christina. Christina says, hi, my name is Christina. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Barcelona, Spain. I'm studying in university for a telecommunications engineer degree. In my free time, I love to hang out with my friends and also take my bike and go for a ride with my GoPro. I love your channel so much. Great videos and great reviews. I promise I did not make her say that. Keep doing this and if you ever come to Spain, let us know. I'd love to meet you. First up is the bag and Christina is rocking the Dakin Wonder Pack. It's not a full laptop bag, but more of an outdoor backpack. It's light, durable, and cost effective. You can still squeeze a laptop inside and there's pockets on the outside to carry a water bottle and stuff you want easy access to. The Dakin Wonder Pack can be picked up for $30 US. Christina's laptop of choice is a 13 inch 2015 MacBook Pro with a 256 gigabyte SSD and retina display. It's hard to tell in this picture, but she also has an in-case hard shell wrapped around it to keep it protected from small drops and scratches. The 2015 MacBook can be bought for around $1,500 US and the in-case case for $30. Now also in this picture, she also shows her phone of choice and that's the iPhone 5 16 gigabytes. It too also has an Incipio case. Now instead of sticking to all Apple, Christina has decided to keep it strictly fitness and opted for a Fitbit charge. The charge is great for tracking your steps, monitoring your heart rate and activity. It can be picked up for $100 or the new one, the Fitbit Charge 2, for $150. Her tablet of choice is an iPad mini with 16 gigabytes of storage with a red smart cover attached to it. It's small, portable, and perfect for consuming media or just reading a book. The original iPad mini is no longer for sale, but the iPad mini 2 can be picked up for $269 and the red smart cover sells for $40. It's clear that Christina loves being outdoors because she has not one, but two GoPros. She must do a lot of biking and spend a lot of time outdoors, which is awesome. She has a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black, which can shoot in full HD, and also a GoPro Hero 4 Black, which is capable of shooting up to 4K video. The Hero 3 Plus can be picked up for around $250 and the Hero 4 for $350. The Yui Boom 2 goes perfect with her setup. It's rugged, meant to take outdoors, and it's waterproof. Plus, it has really good sound compared to most other Bluetooth speakers on the market. The Yui Boom 2 can also be paired with other booms to create a multi-speaker setup. The Yui Boom 2 sells for $165. But when she's in a public place where she can't have a dance party, she pulls out the Beats Solo 2 wired headphones. You either love Beats or you don't, but one thing's for sure, the bass is nice and boomy. The Solo 2s can be picked up for $250 US. Now because she has a lot of stuff to charge, she's using a power cube, which has around four outlets to plug your gear into. It's a lot more compact than a power bar and portable enough that you can chuck it in your bag. The power cube can be bought for $18 US. And last up are her storage drives of choice. She carries two Kingston Digital Data Traveler USB sticks. One of them is 16 gigabytes and the other is 32. And she also carries a one terabyte Toshiba portable drive that retails for $50 US. So that wraps up Christina's bag. Thank you so much, Christina, for submitting your pictures. Next up is T, and he says, my name is T, I'm currently a college student, and I'm an intern filmmaker in Ohio. T is dual wielding two bags. The first one is a camera bag, which makes sense since he is a filmmaker. It's the Amazon Basics DSLR bag. I like the size of it. It's compact, but yet portable with lots of room to hold all your camera gear. As you can see, T is able to fit all his lenses, camera body, batteries, and microphone comfortably. The Amazon Basics DSLR bag can be bought for $22. However, his everyday bag that he carries his laptop in is the Amazon Basics backpack for laptops up to 17 inches. Again, just like his camera bag, it's a good size. There's a place to put his laptop and lots of room for a tablet, books, and other devices. The Basics backpack for laptop sells for $30. His laptop of choice is the Dell XPS 15. I absolutely love this notebook. 
It's actually the same laptop I use to edit video when I'm on the go. His model is fully loaded with a 6th gen i7 processor, 32GB of RAM, 1TB PCIe SSD, and a dedicated GTX 960M graphics card. There's a 4K Infinity Edge display with very small bezels. This model can be bought for $2,500 US. His tablet of choice is the Google Pixel C. This is a nice Android tablet, and because it's made by Google, you get the updates the second they are available. He also has a Bluetooth keyboard and carrying case, but didn't list the models. The Google Pixel C can be bought for $500. To edit video, he uses the Audio-Technica ATH M50X. These are fantastic, affordable studio headphones that are perfect for editing video. They sound great, fold up for portability, and look awesome. He also has some MKBHD themed dbrand skins on them to give it a nice look. The M50Xs can be picked up for $130. But when he's not editing video and just listening to music on the go, he uses the Sennheiser IE800 earbuds. These provide beautiful, unfaithful sound, perfect for any genre of music, and they're very well built. Now these are not cheap headphones and meant for true audiophiles. The IE800s can be picked up for $760. His last and third pair for headphones are the Jaybird X2 Sport Wireless and Bluetooth headphones. These are great for working out or running. They stay firmly in the air and are small and portable. For Bluetooth headphones, they sound pretty good too and can be picked up for $170 US. His daily phone driver is the Galaxy Note 7. Now assuming T hasn't been killed by this ticking time bomb, the Note 7 is no longer available to buy and in all fairness, he did send me his gear before the recall. So most likely T is rocking something else instead. But his other photo choice is the Nexus 5X. It's a phone made by LG but sold by Google and it runs stock Android. It's a great phone with an awesome camera and the Nexus 5X can be bought for $280. T is rocking a lot of the same gear I used to film my videos. In fact, this video was shot on a Panasonic Lumex G7. It's an affordable video camera that shoots beautiful 4K video. In fact, it does a better job in most situations than the more expensive GH4. The G7 can be bought for $500 with a kit lens. T has two lenses that he uses with this camera. The first one is a Lumix 14 to 140 millimeter lens. This allows him to zoom quite far and great for long distance shots. But because it also has a 14 millimeter focal length, it's able to go quite wide as well. The Lumix 14 to 140 millimeter lens can be bought for 550. His second lens that he uses is a Lumix 25 millimeter with an aperture of f1.4. This is a prime lens, so its focal length is fixed, but great for close up shots. Also, because it has an aperture of f1.4, it's great for low light and capable of taking shots with great depth of field. The Lumix 25mm can be bought for $600. The Video Mic Pro is the same microphone that Casey Neistat used for his vlogs to help give you a better idea of what its sound quality is like. The Video Mic Pro can be picked up for $230. To keep all his stuff stored while he's out and about, he uses a Seagate Backup Plus fast 4TB drive. It comes with 200 gigabytes of OneDrive storage for a year and provides transfer speeds of up to 220 megabytes a second. The Plus Fast retails for $180. His mouse of choice is the Logitech MX Master. This is a very popular mouse among YouTubers. Now I've never used one since it's made for righties, but the reviews have all been positive. It's Bluetooth and it can be paired to more than one device at the same time. The MX Master can be picked up for $65. T carries two power banks, but the first one is the Dell Power Companion. It can be used to charge his notebook and up to two other devices at the same time. There's 18,000 milliamps, so it can easily charge his notebook and both of his phones. It retails for $123. His other power bank is the Xiaomi Mi Power Bank Pro. And my guess is when he doesn't carry his laptop, this is the power bank he uses instead. It's a good size and still provides 10,000 milliamps of battery to charge all of his devices. And last up is the wallet. This is the Sacred Slim wallet. It holds a bunch of cards that easily stay secure, but also has an RFID technology to deter hackers. The Sacred Slim wallet can be picked up for $40 US. So that wraps up T's bag. Thank you so much for submitting your photos. Now you guys know what to do in the description and down below there will be a link. Click on it and vote for your favorite bag and I'll announce the winner in the next episode. Also, links to everything will also be in the description and instructions as well on how to enter or submit your bag for this series. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.